Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we are creating this smoky toned look today. So let's go ahead and get started. Starting off with the face, I'm applying my oil control lotion and that is from MAC Cosmetics. As you can see, I am focusing this mainly in my T-zone and then I'm going to top it off with the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer and I'm placing that right over top and directly in the T-zone as well. Now we're going in with the foundation. We're going to be using the CoverGirl Queen Collection and because it is too dark, I'm mixing it with the NYX Pro Mixer to lighten it up a little bit and I'm using the white shade. And then I'm going to buff it into my skin with a flat top kabuki brush. To set all the foundation in, I'm going to be using my MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation in the shade C7. Again, you can see that I am applying this powder foundation only in the T-zone. Moving on to brows, I'm using the Maybelline Brow Precise and I believe this is in the shade Deep brown. The first thing I'm doing is brushing the hairs through with the spoolie to make sure that they are laying in the correct direction. Then I'm going to take my time and carve out the outline of my brow first, following up with the filling in of the middle part of the brow to make sure that all these sparse areas are filled in and we don't have any blank spots. So now we are moving on to the eyes and the first thing I'm laying down is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Then over top of that I'm going into the shade Silver from the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette. And I'm going to be using this as my lid shade so as you can see I'm using a flat kind of shader brush and I'm laying that all over my lid. To define the outer portion of my eye, I'm going into the shade Midnight which is a blue, a smoky blue kind of color and I'm laying that on the outer portion and just creating that outer V kind of shape and I'm making sure to blend in the colors as I go. For my crease shade, I'm dipping into a matte brown shade from the palette called Espresso, and I'm just going to buff that through my crease. And to highlight, I'm using the shade called Blanc, which is a silver shade, and I'm placing that into the inner corners of my eyes. On the lower lash line, I'm using a combination of Espresso and Midnight and I'm just running that all the way across and making sure that it connects with the outer V. Once everything is blended in seamlessly, I'm grabbing my NYC liquid liner and I'm going to create a black line. This time I'm not winging it out, but I'm just kind of doing the standard eyeliner look. As you can see, I'm taking my time and kind of doing it thinner in the inner portion of the eye and making it a little bit thicker as I go out to the outward portion of my eye. Since we're not using falsies today, I'm using my Holy Grail Maybelline Mascara. This is the Falsies Push-Up Mascara. I think it's called Push-Up Drama, but you can see I'm going to be layering on a couple different layers of this mascara. And this is pretty much going to ensure that my lashes are nice and voluminous 
This is a holy grail of mine which I will be talking further about in an upcoming video so stay tuned for that. On to the cheek color today and my blush of choice is the La Femme blush in the color Sienna which is pretty much a nude matte type of shade. You can see here that it is super pigmented and I applied a little bit too much but not to worry we are going to go back and blend that baby out so it looks flawless and seamless. Moving on to highlight, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Crown of My Canopy Highlighter and of course I'm going to be applying this to the tops of my cheeks, down my nose and of course we cannot forget the Cupid's bow. For my lip color today, I'm using the NYX lip liner in the shade Mahogany and of course I'm just lining my lips and you know we're going to be creating that defined look as per usual so I'm just kind of taking my time and going right around my lips and you'll see that I am going to feather it in on the inner and outer corners of my lips. Moving on to the lipstick of choice, this is a lipstick by NYX Cosmetics and this is in the shade Mason. As you guys can see, it's pretty much like a brown lipstick but it has a kind of grey cast to it and I love these sorts of lipsticks. They give the smoky eye a, you know, a little bit of an extra kick. Here you can see that I've gone in and set my face with the L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. And here's the completed look you guys. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Until my next video, we will see you again. Bye!